Yes, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the United Twins with myself, CM, and my twin bro, Cappy, on the other line. Today, we're going to report on Cody Gakpo, Christian Pulisic, and a potential striker signing in the summer. Blessings to everybody each and every time, including yourself, Cappy. We're going to go through some World Cup updates for now. So first and foremost, because we, we got a backlog of games to go through, Facundo Pelestri started in Uruguay as a lack lost a 0-0 draw with South Korea on Thursday. Bruno Fernandes was involved in Portugal's 3-2 victory against Ghana. An exciting game. An exciting end to the game, to be honest. I could have seen a stoppage time equaliser if Inaki Williams didn't slip at the very end. Diogo Delo didn't feature off the bench in this game. Casemiro, Fred and Antonio featured in Brazil's opening win against Serbia 2-0. It was a slow first half, but in the end, we were treated to an absolute peach in Richardson's second goal that secured the W for the Celestal. Alex Tellers was on the bench in that game. Uh, Terrell Malasia was on the bench during the Netherlands 1-1 draw with Ecuador on Friday. Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw and Marcus Rashford all featured in England's 0-0 draw with the USA, which means the three Lions still haven't beaten the Stars and Stripes at a World Cup. Damn, he won still. A Hannibal Mejri was on the bench during Tunisia's 1-0 defeat to Australia on Saturday. Raphael Varane played 75 minutes for France in their 2-1 victory against Denmark. Another great second half affair, which seems like a reoccurring pattern for some games. At least, what do you guys think? I mean, let us know in the comment section below. Alessandro Martinez partner Nicolas Otamendi at centre back in Argentina's must win game against Mexico, where they won 2 0. We saw a nice little, you know, messy goal in there, and the second was an absolute peach as well. And just before I miss out, because we got today's slate of games as well, so bear with me while I read off the paper. Shout out to Casemiro. He scored Brazil's winner today against Switzerland 1 0. It was an absolute each of a finish by Casemiro, Fred Anthony and Alex Tellez all featured and Bruno Fernandes scored twice in Portugal's 2-0 victory against the hard in Uruguay side who for me don't have it don't have it right about now let me know what you think in the comment section below but they haven't showed enough for me to get out of that group I think Ghana have a really good chance of doing so and guess what the fixture is Ghana versus Uruguay on Friday <laughs> Manchester United are reportedly interested in bringing Chelsea's Christian Pulisic to the club in January via a loan. Yeah, Pulisic, who can play in multiple positions across the front line, has reportedly been unhappy with his situation at the London club. My only question to everyone in the comments is how would this move make sense? Pulisic has been riddled with injury after injury at Chelsea CM, and if we are to bring in options to add, some depth to the team, some real meat, they would have to at least need to possess reliability on their track record, at least that's what I think. Pulisic has had over 10 injuries since the 1920 season, which is when he went to Chelsea originally, missing almost a year here when you put them all together. And let me know in the comment section below, am I wrong? Do you agree? Do you disagree with me? But for some reason, even if it's just a long move until the summer, it doesn't make sense. Let me know. What do you think? According to Dan Marsh of the Mirror, Manchester United have made it clear that they will not be meeting the 100 million euro price tag of Victor Osimhen. The Nigerian forward has scored nine goals in 11 matches so far this season in Serie A. With Osimhen's contracts expiring in the summer of 2025, Cappy, Napoli remains strong in their demands with no reason to compromise, to be fair. Would you pay the price for the 23-year-old? If not, who has caught your eye up front? Who could be that guy in the summer to come in and transform that forward spot, that striker's position at Manchester United? Manchester United are reportedly open to recording players on loan in a January transfer window. Ethan Laird, Hannibal Mejli and Ahmad Diallo are players on loan 
to championship clubs and have a recall option each CM. Laird at QPR has played every game in the championship this season with former manager now Mick Beal in October being delighted with the 21 year old's progress which is good to hear. Ahmad has four goal contributions in 13 league appearances for 15th place Sunderland and the youngest of them all Hannibal Mejri at 19 has become a fan favourite at Birmingham City. Man United would consider recording Ethan Laird if they're able to offload Aaron Wan-Bissaka in Jan as a backup for Diogo Delo, of course, who's in fantastic form so far this season. With Anna scoring three in his last five games for Sunderland, would you consider calling him back early to add to our lack of depth in our attacking areas? Manchester United appear to be closing in on the sign of PSV's Cody Gakpo. He's reportedly United's top target heading into the winter window with him excelling for club and country with already two goals in two World Cup games. Gakpo can operate as a winger or central forward. Would you be excited about a possible move for the 23 year old after the deal seemed to have collapsed during the summer? Let us know in the comments section below. But that is all the news we will be reporting on today on the United Twins. Let us know of any stories that have broken out possibly after this video that we missed out on. And give us your thoughts on the ones we did report on during today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, share to your friends and frenemies. And until the next time... We'll see you lot sooner!